Buenos dias, bienvenidos. It is early, yes, on a Sunday. <laughs> so I'll try to keep everybody awake, and I appreciate all your attendance. As indicated, the presentation is titled Replacing a High-Speed Integrally Geared Pump with a Pitot Tube Pump, and we have several esteemed colleagues here from the High-Speed Integrally Geared Pump Manufacturers, so that's good. I appreciate that. Also, so everybody knows, I worked for that particular company for many, many years, so have a good feel for the technology and some of the differences in technologies that we're going to be discussing today. I've been 35 years in the rotating equipment machinery group experience. I started when I had hair. I also started when I was 10 years old, so if that gives you any, any idea. I've had the very fortunate opportunity to participate on several API task forces. API 617 for compressors, API 682 for seals, and currently am a member of API 610 12th edition, which by the way is going through final ballot and if everything goes correct will be published in early of next year. Please ask questions at any time, I would encourage that and we will answer them the best I possibly can. So that we understand what flow and head range we are Focusing on, it is flows less than 90 meter cube and head rise from 300 meter to 1,500 meter. These are very tough duty services in refineries. And some of those applications are going to be showing up. And because of these tough duties, some of the potential problems and I say potential because there are hundreds and thousands of the integral geared pumps that are successfully operating globally in refineries, petrochemical, that, that work just fine. But there are a few that do experience some problems. And some of those problems can be a process gearbox seal, process seal failure, a gearbox seal failure, and in some extreme cases, a catastrophic gearbox failure. And this typically occurs during process upsets. That is when there is a rapid change in capacity. And those who work in a refinery understand that process upsets occur all the time. It's just a way of life. But you need equipment that is able to contend with and re resist those process upsets to provide maximum plant reliability. Some of those situations, therefore, cause high maintenance and process disruption, which result in what we're trying to do at this seminar today and all for the weekend is improve plant reliability. So this hopefully can provide an opportunity for consideration. These are some of the typical low flow high head services, so reflux, depropanizer, deethanizer, naphtha, propane, diesel. I'm not going to read the entire list. You can see it there. But once you get below 90 or even further in decreased capacity, 50 meter cube, 20 meter cube, head rise from 500 meters and up, it's, they're just tough, tough services. And again, uh, process upsets occur frequently, throwing all sorts of dynamic situations into the equipment that need to be contended with. Within this low flow high head range, there are generally three centrifugal pumps that are recognized currently by API. The OH6 high speed integrally geared, axially split multi-stage BB3. Uh, those who were here yesterday heard a good presentation by a gentleman from Gould showing the advantages of this type of technology. And then its bigger brother, the radially split BB5. All three have great uh, trade-offs that must be evaluated and they will fit in certain circumstances. 